interosseous muscles of the hand, anatomy. The interosseous muscles of the hand arise from the metacarpal bones in the hand and help to control motion of the fingers. There are five metacarpal bones in the hand. The interosseous muscles are inserted into the basis of the proximal phalanges. The metacarpal shafts give attachments to four dorsal and three palmar interossei muscles. There are a total of seven interossei muscles. To the left, you can see three palmar hand interossei, and to the right, you can see four dorsal hand interossei. The four dorsal interossei muscles are also inserted into the extension expansion of the corresponding extensor digitorum tendon. Here you can see the tendons of the extensor digitorum and also you can see the extensor expansion and how the dorsal interossei are inserted into the extensor expansion. The function of the dorsal interossei muscles is to abduct the fingers, as you can see here in this diagram. No dorsal interossei are inserted into the thumb or the little finger. There are three palmar interossei muscles, as you can see here in this diagram. The function of the three palmar interossei muscles is to abduct the fingers. The three palmar interossei muscles also assist the lumbricals in flexing the MP joints and extending the IP joints. No palmar interossei muscle is inserted into the middle finger. Here again you can see the dorsal interossei to the left and the palmar interossei to the right. Abduction of the fingers come from the dorsal interossei, dab. Abduction of the fingers come from the palmar interossei, pad. The interossei muscles help in the writing position of the hand by flexing the MCP joint and extending the PIP joint. The interossei and lumbricale muscles function is to flex the MCP joint, but they also extend the PIP joint through the lateral bands and the central slip of the extensor digitorum communis. All seven interossei muscles of the hand are supplied by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve. Here is the deep branch of the ulnar nerve, and here is the innervation to the interossei. Test abduction of the index finger against resistance. Here is the first dorsal interosseous muscle. The function of the first dorsal interosseous muscle is tested by asking the patient to abduct the index finger against resistance. The first dorsal interosseous muscle can be seen and evaluated on the dorsum of the hand. Severe atrophy of the first dorsal interosseous muscle could indicate severe compression of the ulnar nerve and a bad prognosis for recovery of this nerve. This condition of severe atrophy of the first dorsal interosseous muscle can be associated with a claw hand deformity. And here you can see examples of the atrophy of the first dorsal interosseous muscle. You can see wasting of the muscle. Test abduction of the index finger against resistance the palmar interossei, pad. The function of the palmar interossei is adduction, and that is tested. The examiner has the patient abduct the index finger against resistance. Then check for clawing of the fourth and fifth fingers. 
Clawing of the ulnar digits occurs in low ulnar nerve palsy. There will be hyperextension of the MP joints due to the unopposed pull of the lung extensors. The IP joints are flexed due to the unopposed action of the lung flexors. The intrinsic muscles are weak and they cannot extend the PIP joints. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.